me wishing I had a girlfriend. <laughs> Stay right there. Stay right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there we go. Oh man, it's perfect. It's perfect. Thanks for the laughs, friend. I'll see you next time. Oh, a legend. Oh, what? I can go through the burger? Why? Why do I go through it? I wanted to stand on it. What's up, guys? I'm Abraham Sandwich, and we're jumping back into Cyberpunk today. And uh, so I'm waiting on a lot of phone calls to get some side missions, some of the major ones started. Oh, I can't drive. Hmm. Okay, uh, so I'm waiting for a lot of calls, and I guess I'll just slide out of my car. So let's go take care of some short side missions real quick and uh, just, you know, level up a little bit before we get going. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. You fuck off, or I implant my blade in your ribs. Who? I really think you're fast enough for that blade. Yeah. Really? The way I see it, be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But hey, nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, right, come on, baby. That work. Don't work up. Yo, fuck you! Carajo! Fucking punk! So what what just happened? Hey. <laughs> Cleaned up now. Here, for your trouble. Hey. Rest, uh, Thanks, friend. Bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you had just a Yeah, mm -hmm. well, not all heroes were kids. How about we drink to you? On the house. Don't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. Break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know. Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Oh, I got you, friend. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Good lady did away at me. Or, I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like I got damn tire fire. Like at this city. <laughs> Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Uh sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid to get, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why you wanna know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay, fine. I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. Okay. Yeah, it's how Pepe. I can't believe it's still here. What What do you got to say? Anything? 
Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. Are you about done? I'm trying to focus. Serious. <laughs> Dude, let's take this car again. It's been a minute since I've driven this guy. Ooh. I arrived on the scene looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. <laughs> what is Johnny on about? <laughs> that looks like her, right? It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. <laughs> Something just drew me to her, like one magnet to another. Ugh, stop. The woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up. I'm a fucking puke. Narrate that. The woman passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, wh what did I ever do to you? <laughs> Freaking Johnny. Sometimes he's annoying, sometimes he's kind of funny. What's up, huh? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh, maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See who's Wait. right. No! It's it's not like that. I oh, I can you... explain. Okay. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know I. I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. Uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh, I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Jeez. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I, I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom, because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I, I had a lot of them, and I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but there was never a good time. And, and now that I'm expecting again, it, oh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't planned. Please uh, tell him, tell him that- Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself, that, that I'm really sorry, that life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just, just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go, Dr. Pepe. Rogue. V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Sweet. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. Meaning you found Grayson? You really got an in with Smasher. Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Sweet. Okay, uh, really quick. Sorry, I have to finish this thing with Pepe. Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least... Not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? Uh. 
Last time I think I didn't tell him, so I want to tell him this time. She was at a ripper's getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes, it's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son, that's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Our own husband, ten fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever, it's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, thanks. This is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket <laughs> over the city. Freaking Johnny. Like it's cries. Monologuing. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See? That's more like it. Finally making some sense. Hey, got a level up in. A little something. Hey. Try it out. Thanks. Johnny's jacket. Oh, my hands are. That was. <laughs> Jump in. Beautiful. Finally, look at half decent. Uh, no. Do you see that armor difference? That's an absolute no. I'm sorry. I don't care how cool your jacket looks. <laughs> uh, real quick thing too. Uh, I'm starting to put all my points into intelligence. Because I don't care about getting this to 20 yet. And trying to get my quick hacking up. So let's do that one. I want to try and make my stealth in my quick hacking abilities. What did Johnny say about me? No, you two talk all the time. Your mouth isn't moving. Uh. Oh, Johnny talks about himself mostly. Hmm. Right. It's a little weird he didn't run into Smasher before now. Came up in conversation time to time. Yeah, but you. You never tried to track him down? Listen, V. The fact that Johnny's back changes things, okay? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Believe me, I know. You sure you're up for this? What? You getting cold feet? No, just... I don't want to see Johnny haze you. Adam smashes his obsession, not yours. <laughs> Think so? Just trying to play fair. Okay, skip ride. Okay, here's as far as we go. Might be our lucky day. Drop Grayson and Smasher in one go. Fucker's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, we can start. Too many rats around. Better wait till a little darkness creeps in. And in the meantime, we do what? Wait and watch. Oh, okay. Great. Don't have to okay. wait. Okay. Good as it's gonna get. No 
Bostrom's got the docks covered, and you'll cover me. Come on, let's go. She's tense. Idea. Cover her. Yes. Okay, let's... Camera control. Okay, that should attack most of them. Do a skill check. There's one. Oh, no, no, no. Can I abort? I can't abort. Okay, turn off. See them all? Got it? To the data term. Quietly. And your mind. <laughs> okay, no sound effects for that. That's great. I'm just that stealthy. I got no sound effects. No. All right, Help. we got it. I Scan can't it, fucking see if there's know. anything we can use. Fuck you. I'll watch the you door. You hear me? No, knows exactly where to find him. She's stolen. Told you, Rogue's still scared of the asshole. Looks like they're hiding out on the ship. Okay, let's see what we turn up. I just realized my health isn't top up. There, to the right. Oh, well left. Oh. That's another way of doing it. I hear it. There it is. There she is. The Ebony Cape. Not looking so hot. Even sh you're on the inside. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Almost on you. Stay hidden. Yep, got you. to believe he's got a hidey hole here. Did you expect Smasher to put up a sign or something? Gotta search the deck. Oh, okay. I feel like Johnny was about Why to say something. Doing this? I'm settling a score. Avenging Johnny. That too. Okay, one sec. We'll do that soon. There's just, uh. there's something I need to go check. Yeah, so this is the uh, secret locker that has like some special stuff that I think you have to beat the game once to technically unlock. So we'll get to that. My hands are still stuck to the ground. This is really weird. You hear that? Gracie, yeah. Come on. No, not that. Uh, one sec. I'm just gonna tell this dude to do Shooting that. Shooting at me with my own gun. Why? Malorian, 3516. Signature says I know it anywhere. You're knocking it out alive. Grab the gun. Come here, you. Uh. Not yours. I don't think. <laughs> I love oh this pistol. My, rogue. Uh, you and me not playing for the same team anymore? <clears throat> Guess I'm not at all surprised. Seems your specialty. Slipping shivs in the backs of allies. Uh. Where's Smasher? Could crack your skull like an eggshell. Know that? You'd still be able to talk for a little while. But I'm happy to talk. Ever wonder how Rogue survived after the attack on the tower? How in hell no one ever hunted her down? Her alone. <clears throat> Out of all that Atlantis trash. Cause I do. I truly wonder how far she had to go to set herself up so comfy. 
Who'd she finger fuck? Whose crack did she have to lick to? Uh! <laughs> uh, ooh. Where's Smasher now? <clears throat> With the Arasakas. But I think you know that already. When's he due back? Never. Faithful old Adam's just been named head of security there. Uh, not coming back to this rat hole ever. I stayed behind just to tie off his loose ends. Shit! Could say that again. You two will never jump that high. Smasher's out of your reach. But don't feel bad. He'll find you himself. Likes to resolve shit like this in person. I already know. Yeah. You're fucking useless. Let me do the honors, V. Hey, why are you so interested in Smasher anyway? I'm not interested in Silverhand and what happened to him. <laughs> Johnny Silverhand? <laughs> what do you want to know? Uh. Smasher ever tell you what he did with Silverhand's body? That into him, huh? Plan to exhume that scop? Or you just want to hear how he died, soaked in his own piss, neurons scorched by Soul Killer? What did they do with him? Badlands, near the oil fields, buried out there. <coughs> 101 northbound, then head for the landfill. Dig deep enough, mighty to find a shit smeared. Heard so enough. Far. Finish him. Let's end this quickly. Wanna rip my eyes out just looking at him. No, no, wait. I got something. Silverhand. You're into him, right? Could give you something. Uh ooh, see, I just I wanna kill him. Yeah. Don't want a damn thing from you. Good. One dicks for less. Let's Delta. Pointless. This whole thing. Still no leads. Nowhere to go from here. Fuck. V, tell her. To Johnny, this is more than a 50-year-old grudge. Really? Like, what is it? It's about you. He wanted to do this with you. What? To cheer me up? <laughs> Didn't work. Smasher. Fuck! You don't get it. This isn't about Smasher. He's just the goddamn tip of the iceberg. Even if we get him, what does that get us? Later, V. Leave her alone, V. She'll get it together. But times like this, she prefers to be alone. Okay. I get that. Let's hit those oil fields. Want to see what it looks like out there. Okay. Uh, well, on our way out the door, there's something I have to do. You see, there's a very special container that I need to open. Oh, right. I remember where it is. Right there. That's what I need. Yes. It is. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Take that rag off it. Okay. My ride. So Up sick. In. I'll even let you drive. <laughs> I well, you, you can't say otherwise. So sucks to be you. <laughs> Love this car. Okay, let's go find your body, Johnny. Can't believe they bothered to truck it all the way out here. It's better than the junkyard where I landed. So, 
that's how it is. Nothing here at all. What did you expect? Headstones, flag, and flowers? No. I... I don't know. A marker. Something. Anything. We'll figure something out. Better now? A bit. But let's say it was my real grave. What would you write? Here lies Johnny Silverhand. <laughs> yes, honest thought. Honestly, though, he is a legend, though, so. Night City legend. Sounds good. But what does it really mean? What did I achieve shouting chipping in to a bunch of angry, pimply kids? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh. What's gotten into you? Where's Johnny? I'm the fucking greatest Silverhand. Don't even recognize you. Maybe I'm done pretending. Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Blind, selfish bastard that I was. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up. What we have. <laughs> oh jeez, that'd be so mean. Long bumpy road, but we made it. Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24 7. And yet, you don't seem to hate my living guts. Yep. You were a real dick wipe at first. You sort of deserved it. What? Remember waking up at Victor's not knowing about me? I'm seeing things. I'm scared. Then moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night? Complaining about not being able to kill me? Never thought we'd make it this far. You said you let your friends down. Did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carry, Santiago. Not all's lost yet. At least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. Can't just insert myself into her life. Come on. <laughs> you already have. <laughs> True that. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me. Ask if she's free some night. Thing is, you'd have to surrender control. Again. Uh, uh. Yeah. I'll call her. Okay. Let's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same? Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours. It's interesting, like, again, this is really good story writing, I think. They kind of make you hate Johnny and really dislike him, but then when you have that real serious heart-to-heart -heart right there, it kind of, I don't know if it does the same for you guys, but it kind of makes me, like, feel for him a little bit. Like, he's kind of admitting there that he's been putting on a show this whole time, that he's this cool dude and that he has it all put together, but it kind of all came to a point and he's like, you know, he's kind of distraught about it. I don't know. They kind of make him likable all of a sudden where you're like, 
Dang, I feel for you. That is, I don't know. I have a lot of empathy for people, so I understand that perspective that he has. Okay, let's call up Rogue. Like he asked. V. Johnny wants to ask you out on a date. What do you think? Johnny's asking? Or is it you? Johnny, you're the one who said you got no trouble telling us apart. Okay. And where'd we go? Where'd you want to go? Silver Pixel Cloud in North Oak. Okay. I'll swing by the afterlife. Pick you up. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go do that. Let's just jump straight to that. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna make a pit stop at Vix and get my thing changed out from the billy goat that Johnny gave me. I, what? When did I, I did not hit someone. I don't know what you're talking about, police. Okay, there we go. Get that smart link attached. Some crew taking you along as bait? That a compliment? You look different. <laughs> Try again. Maybe you'll find some charm the third time around. <laughs> hey, Rogue. Ready? Again, you. We going? Where's Johnny? Couldn't make it after all? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just your driver. See, you keep him on a short leash. Oh, it changed. It moved. <laughs> Wise beyond your years. <laughs> this Johnny's Porsche? <laughs> Where'd you get it? That's what was in the container. The one Grayson was talking about. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Got a lot of memories in this car. Let's go. Silver Pixel Cloud, your favorite place? Once, probably. Haven't been there in ages. Drive-ins went out of style a century ago. But Silver Pixel's still hanging in there. Sounds like a preem place for a date. Thought so, too. Which is why I suggested Johnny take me there a million years ago. So it wasn't his idea. Of course not. His idea of a romantic night out was blowing up Arasaka HQ. <laughs> Sounds like Johnny. All right, V. Tell me what's going on. For real. Meaning... Johnny doesn't do a thing without an ulterior motive. So what's in play this time? Johnny's changed. He really does want to spend some time with him. No hooks, no lines, no sinkers. Right. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't believe him either. I like to think so. Oh, you see that drift, Rogue? You see that drift? Here we are. Oh. They just always slow me down. Fuck. I don't believe it. It really has been years. Managed to shut the whole thing down. V, try to get inside. Can't stop us, won't stop us. We asked you out on a date. <laughs> All right. Do your thing. I'll watch. Okay. Gotta be the past. What's this? Oh. Oh, jeez. Really C to close. To C to close. Got it. Okay. Zeros. All right, well, let's go. Sha -la -la. Well done. That was a lot Try of audio. Try and get the projector started. I'll get us some seats. Sure okay. Thing. Right, let's go check the projector. Hmm. Okay, looks like I found the projector. Dude, I already you found it. I don't know how to get it up and running. Hmm. Let's see. I imagine. Interesting. Bushido 10. Fade to black. 
Must be a classic by now. Good to see. Look at that. Last played Bushido 10. Perfect. Looks like a spur to runny shit. V, <laughs> we're at a drive in. Movie's the last thing we care about. Just want some background noise, a little blood, tits, and gore, that sort of thing. <laughs> Bushido will give you that. All right, V, run along. I'll take it from here. Uh, fine, Johnny. Fine, you crazy kids. Grabbed us the best spots. Hop on up. Oh, I guess the movie's not... Oh, okay, it's good. I do have that blue bar again. That's kind of annoying. Seems to happen when Johnny takes over. This is how you imagine this evening going. Always knew things would have to change for us to just go out and catch a movie. Never imagined they'd change this much. Let's pretend it's 2015, huh? We just met, and I got no idea what a bastard you are. <laughs> uh, let's, yeah. But I like 2077, Rogue. A far inferior version. Dang, you don't like yourself very much, okay. do you? Okay, so it's 2015. Okay. If you could do it all again, what would you change? Anything at all? Uh, I think I do carry. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> that's your bro friend. Uh, let let's be the nice guy. I do everything in my power not to lose you, Johnny. I. Hey hey hey, what's this? Nothing. It's just I had a lot of time to think while you were away. I kind of want to watch the what movie. Is and all that. Uh, I think you might be hiding something from me. Johnny, there's a heap of things I'm hiding from you. Understandable. But all we got's this one night. Hmm. No, this isn't your body. Don't got much to offer you. Still more than before. I know I fucked up back then. See it now. See, I could have been myself around you. Only you. No pretending, no posing. Johnny. I... can't. I see what you're trying to do, but... I'm in a different place now. Was it something I said? No. You're just too late. The rogue you knew is gone. And I don't want to keep pretending otherwise. Got no idea what you're talking about. I know. And I'd rather it stayed that way. Let's just watch the movie. Is that how you're gonna leave it? Better this way. Take care, Johnny. Don't. <laughs> what if I want to watch it, though? Fine. Oh, the blue bar is still here. Great. Rogue's gone. Yep. Uh. Guess things did not go swimmingly. Nope. It was going to be a nice night at the drive in. Now she's mad and won't tell me what about. Any guesses? Remember Grayson? How they spoke? How weird it was? Weird's not the word, I don't think. He was toying with her. Could be something to that. Gotta mull it over. For now, take me to North Oak. 
That's supposed to help you figure out Rogue? No. Carrie. Mm. Tell you once we're there. Movie was a turd wrapped in crepe paper. <laughs> <laughs> At least he knows. Okay, uh, I'm gonna quick save load. Oh, I guess loading made it daytime. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, at least the blue bar is gone. Okay, so this is actually something I really wanted to do. Uh, which is, I want to go meet Carrie. Carrie's dope. Uh, ooh, let's take the coyote. I like the coyote. Okay. Oh, they forced me to stop. That's great. We made it, Johnny. This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carry got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where do you hear anything about Carry? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your big night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. Uh. So I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes. <laughs> know what they're writing about him? He's depressed, attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. Uh. Okay, but I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first, we gotta get into that house. Okay, just let me know when you wanna take the wheel. Man. I feel like V is actually a pretty chill dude just being like, yeah, let me just hand my entire body over to another person. Like, I get that they're both hosting it, but dang. Okay. And double jump. Just, just stay there, robot. Stay there. Fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive, at least. Something's got to justify this level of tacky. <laughs> oh, fuck. Cookie cutter crap straight from a catalog. Doubt Carrie picked this. Always ate out. Always. So true, though. How would you ever live in a house like this, actually? Wicked bad collection. Well... Now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. Acts like that run us many yetis? Forget it. We couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave. The only actual necessity in this whole pad. Bro, this painting. Oh, beautiful butterfly carry emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. <laughs> this painting is something else. Have a self portrait like this in your house? Oh my gosh. It's like kind of cool, but at the same time, really weird that he's naked. I don't get it. Anyways, I think he's he's in here, isn't he? Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. 
good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. Ah, oh, feels so much better. Now let's see which are up for show and which are actually strummable. Ooh, I don't know the songs. Archangel sounds dope. Keep playing. <laughs> All right. Carrie? No. No. no it's some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! <laughs> Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. She had changed a bit. Sporting a new style, trying to stay hip. Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? <laughs> this is V. You like him. The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really wanted to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you just pop by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Hmm. Listen. Judge for yourself. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Uh... I don't, I've already gone through Still all that. Still in touch with the gang. Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Good. Track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. 
All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm. I'm not there, figure it out with V. Sure. Uh, you two get along? Not lately, no. We don't have much of a choice, though. Johnny, you okay? No. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. I'll be fine. <laughs> that a hint of disapproval, I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Get sharper as the pills wear off. So? Wanna see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. Okay, calling Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. <laughs> Johnny's like a little kid now. He just like wants to relive his glory days and stuff. All right, I'll give him that one. If you don't know, this car is like infamous for being one of like 20, I think they said. Something stupid, crazy like that. Uh, Nancy? Uh, I mean, uh, Bess? Bess Isis? No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Want to talk to Bess? She's not here. Call him from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the uh, Totentons. Tent. Okay, there is a part of me that wants to keep going with Johnny's story, but I do think that's enough of Johnny's story for now. Uh, I do think next episode, though, I am just going to pick this back up and keep going with this. Because, uh, I don't know, I just want to get all of the major side missions done, and this is one of those. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.